Um, so before we go any further, the other thing that I want to point out is that on the right hand side here, we have something that says layers. This is when you're using any program, any Adobe program, layers is something that is brought up. So a good way of imagining this is like if we're drawing on a piece of paper, um, we do a drawing and then we add another layer. It's like adding a layer of tracing paper and then drawing on that. So we can see all of our previous layers underneath, but we can see on top. What's good about this is if I do a drawing on layer two uh, and I don't want to see it, I can press this visibility toggle here and then that will make it disappear. It won't make it delete it completely, but it will just hide it so you can work on what's underneath. You can also do things like swap the layers around. So if you have one thing in front, you can move it behind by putting it underneath and so on. You can also do things, you can lock your layers so they don't move or adjust or anything like that when you're working on your other layer. Another thing you can do is you can add a layer. You can create a new layer by this little plus in a square. And that's how you add layers. So you, every time you sort of work on a new shape or a different bit of text, it's good habit to create a new layer. And if you double click, or you should be able to then change the name. So we can say that this is called moving, for example, or you might call this one type, or if you've done a tree on this layer, you can call it tree and so on. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete these layers and we're just gonna work with the one layer. So we always want to generally see this, so I usually keep this open. <clears throat> Good. Um, another, probably the first thing that I want to show you is you can create a rectangle and a square uh, by clicking on this little tool here. Uh, you can drag, you can click and drag to create the shape, or if you want to make sure that it keeps an equal proportion on each side, you can press shift in order to create a sort of perfect square. Um, once you've then created, let's click back on this, once you've created that shape, you can choose to either change the color of the outline. So this is the outline and this is the inside of the shape. So if I am going to change the color of the outline to red, you can see that it's changed to a red color here. If I want to change the stroke width, uh, the thickness, I can go here where it says 1PT and I can choose to make it thicker like this. Or if I want to change the inside colour, I can change the inside colour here. If I want there to be no colour at all, there's a little square with a red line that passes through it. You can click on that and then that means it will just keep it to an outline. Or for example, if you want to get rid of, let's put something on the inside first. If I want to get rid of that outside line, I can just click on that uh, square with the red line passing through it to get rid of it there. Good. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that shape. The other thing that you can do uh, is you can do the star tool. So if I hold down on this two bar tool, this tool here, I can click on the star tool. If I then click and drag, you can see that I've started to create a star. Before letting go of the click, I can press up and down to add multiple points. So if you want to start with loads of points, you can add loads and loads and loads. Or if you don't want it to just be simply a rectangle, you can do it like that. If I want to move that shape, I'm going to go here to my select tool. And then you can start to, if you will let me, there we go you can start to move and choose where in which that shape goes. If I want to change the anchor points, which are these points here, what I would do is I'll go to my direct select tool. I would double click on the anchor point and then I can drag, click and drag and move those points like that in order to create unusual shapes. If for any reason, I'm like, oh, I want to actually add another anchor point or I want to delete an anchor point. I go to this weird sort of pen tool here. And then if I press plus or minus, I can choose whether in which I want to add or delete. So if I press plus here, 
I've added a new anchor point. If I want to get rid of that one, I can press minus, and then I can get rid of that one, or I might want to get rid of that one as well. And then if you've added a whole ton of new anchor points like this, you can then go back to your direct select tool, and then you can double click on that select, that, that anchor point, and then move it. If, for example, you wanted to select multiple anchor points, you go to the lasso tool, which is if you double click on the direct select tool and then go down to the lasso tool, I can just draw a sort of circle around those different select points, go back to my direct select tool, and I should be able to move them like that.